All right, so you saw the thumbnail. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can play Need for Speed Redux Mod V3 or version 3. Need for Speed Most Wanted is one of the best racing games that I enjoy playing from time to time. Now, I'm sure most of you are aware of the Redux mod that um, a lot of people seem to enjoy playing. It is one of the best mods I've ever played. Not only can you play different cars, but um, you can also enhance the graphics of the game, which makes the overall game feel like you're playing it in, I don't know, just feels like you're playing the game in a better quality, so to say. So this uh, mod obviously works on Windows just fine, but on Linux, it's a little bit tricky because we are dealing with modified files of the game. So if we run this game on Lotris, which it is going to run, actually, uh, if we use the default version of Wine, so this one, which uh, I'm sure most uh, people use as the default to run most games, it is going to run and the game will actually work. But here's the problem. The first thing you're going to notice is that the fonts are not going to load correctly, which is obviously a big deal. And the second issue is that when you get into the menu of the game, it's going to be black and you'll not be able to see the iconic uh, car of the game, which is the BMW. I think it's the M3 GT3 or something like that. So. Yeah, that's one thing you're not gonna notice and um obviously the menu is just going to be booked so you won't be able to know where the heck you're going um now technically we can add the dll overrides for the modified files of the game but we're still going to run into an issue where wine is not going to load the fonts properly so um basically this game uses specific fonts that wine which is this default here is not going to be able to translate or i guess i want to say work properly so lutris uh is not going to work properly for this game so it's just not gonna work so for this tutorial we're going to use bottles so i'm going to show you how you can set up a bottle for this mod and i'm going to show you which settings you should definitely adjust for this game to properly work and i'm going to show you also uh, all of the necessary fonts you need to download for this game to work so the first thing you're going to do make sure you have the game files as well as the redux v3 mod you can get both of these from the official uh, youtube channel so you can get this from the uh, creator of this redux mod and uh, once you do then we can go to the next step now second of all make sure you have bottles which is what we're going to use to run the need for speed redux mod so when you open it you're basically going to have an empty bottle or you might have multiple bottles that doesn't really matter so what really matters is that we're going to click here on this plus sign so we're going to create a new bottle for need for speed redux mod so i'm going to obviously give it a name which is need for speed redux mod once you give it a name we're going to select gaming and for this we're just going to leave it at default so we're going to click create and this is where it's going to create a bottle where it's going to install basically all of the wine dependencies so now that it's done you can pretty much uh, close this notification and we are going to adjust some settings some of them are very important for the game to work so we're just basically going to go to this settings section so the number one um, setting that we are going to adjust is this one which is the version of the wine compatibility layer now for or should i say on default it's going to be soda dash 9.0 dash 1 this is is going to be the default uh runner uh you can use this one and the game will work or you can use system wine and it's also going to work for now i recommend you avoid using ge proton just because from my testing no matter which version of ge proton i use even if i use something like proton plus the game is just not going to work for some reason so 
uh you are going to have a likely chance of getting the game to work if you use one of these two with that being said i recommend you leave all of this at default and i recommend you also leave these at default unless you go to the advanced settings and you want to change the renderer but for now you can leave this at default and the game will just run properly for the performance you can enable um uh, like fps manga hut but you can see that this is pretty much uh untold or this is basically unavailable in my system this is because i am using flat pack but if you can uh, open the terminal and download the latest uh free desktop platform Falcon layer for manga hut then this feature should be available to you but yeah you can use this to monitor how the game is performing on your system but the rest of these i recommend you leave it at default if anything for the synchronization uh it's going to be set on f-sync by default but you can add your system if you want to or you can use one of these two for now i'm going to leave it at system for the compatibility i recommend you leave most of these at default except for the working directory so this is going to be where your game is located so me in this case i already located the game and this is where you're going to have all of your games so obviously find basically your own working directory but once you do then you're pretty much good to go for the snapshots just leave everything at default now this is the number one most important setting that we're going to work with because we're going to add uh new overrides that uh based on the files of the game so we're going to add custom dlls that way uh, like basically made for the game so if i open my games i'm going to locate where the game is so it should be in here and this is basically my working directory so if i can minimize this a little bit this is, is where we're going to add the custom dls for the game to work so in this case um, the first one that i'm going to add is this one so i'm just going to basically type uh, d3d9 dot dll and it's basically going to detect the game or should i say it's going to detect the new dll and if i and if i press this check button then it's going to detect the override now if you click here where it says native then built in you are seeing that it's going to give you a lot of options for now i recommend you just leave it at native then built in with that being said you are pretty much done then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to add this one so i'm going to do that and the next is going to be this one and this one until you are sh or should i say you are certain that you have added all of the necessary dll files for the game to work so that's what i'm going to do so once you're done you should have all of these new dlls inserted for the game to work so you should have all of these in here but once you do you are pretty much good to go so we are i want to say 90 percent done for this game to work the only thing that's left to do which is super super important is we want to download the necessary fonts so if you remember correctly from the beginning i did say that uh, this game uh, didn't load the fonts uh properly that's because it uses specific fonts for the game to work uh now you want to go to the dependencies so this is where you download um i want to say more compatibility layers for programs as well as games so this section you're going to have uh let's say new dls essentials and uh, uh, fonts basically so i'm going to scroll down and you're going to make sure that you have all of these fonts installed now some stuff in here are going to be downloaded by default but uh yeah so this is 
um basically all of the like essentials and fonts that i manually downloaded for the game to work so for you you want to make sure you have all of these essentials and fonts installed so that the game works but once you do then you want to obviously open where your game's located and you want to go to the scripts and i believe it's going to be need for speed um most wanted widescreen fix i believe so this is where you're going to adjust the widescreen fix settings for the game to work properly for the resolution uh, x and y axis i leave this at zero so it's just going to manually adjust the horizontal and vector uh, vertical resolution for the scaling i leave it at default so i'm going to use the xbox 360 or you can use the original um especially if you are on a mid at, like on a mid end system or if you're running this mod on a low end system but if you have iron system you can leave this at default for the shadow res um this is just going to make the game look a little bit more crispy so the default is 1024 uh you can use 2048 uh this will be using the xbox 360 shadow resolution but again if you are on a low end pc then use the 1024 which is better if you are definitely running on a low end system um and yeah once you have all of this adjusted to your liking you're pretty much good to go and we are ready to play need for speed most wanted which is redux 33 but basically once you are done you are now good to go and we are ready to launch the game so i'm going to prove to you that this game actually works so let me just launch the game in fact i'm going to uh, plug in my controller first then we can basically launch the game so here it goes as you can see the game works so yeah so let me go to my car section i want to see if i have any cars added okay not yet so yeah this is the game working just fine so as you can see all of the cars are showing properly with no issues because this is an issue i have always had where for some reason if i launch the game without the dll overrides and the fonts modified cars or should i say like the uh, added cars are just not going to run or they're not going to like show properly so yeah um the game works so let me go to my career and let me uh do a very quick uh gameplay now obviously i'm running on very low settings as because i'm recording so it's a bit taxing on my system but the game actually works So, yeah. So, yeah, the game works for all this, at least it should be. So yeah that's pretty much it i hope this uh video helped you if it did give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you need any further assistance with that being said it's your boy jury and i am signing out